The reality is every woman in her own way has something to give that would inspire another. But we must first be motivated to share. And it's in sharing our experiences, our learnings, and our stories that we build the next generation of women around us. And when we talk about building the next generation, sometimes that's not even people younger than you. That's just about building the next generation of women who find themselves enough to express themselves. And for every woman to find the space for self-expression, she needs the support of every other person. The world will never know, nor will their state ever discover the capacity that they have except that they had one leader who had the right mindset and commitment to gender parity and created the opportunity and the platform for them to show what they could offer. And going as far as legislating for the state, the, percent, the minimum percentage of women that must be in any government in their state going forward. What does the dare mean? It means that you work against all. It means that when it seems impossible, you dare to make it look possible. And I'm deliberate about my words when I say you dare to make it look possible. Because you step out to attempt to make the impossibility possible. Sometimes you will succeed at it. Sometimes all you will do is the attempt and it's good enough. Because when you start the process, of the attempt, you might not be the one that would finish it. But because you started, somebody else will pick up and will finish. So what do I want to say to us? Just do all you can. Just give yourself the right and the liberty to express yourself to the best that you can. Give yourself, and I'm particular about words, give yourself the license to self-express. Take the opportunities you find to use your talents to make a difference. And just remember, everything you do is aditi. You're adding to the story of women on the face of the earth, starting from your own country. Some of the stories you start in Nigeria will be completed in another country. Some of the challenges you would take up would be completed, the solution would be completed somewhere else. Some of the girls you would inspire would become accomplished because somebody else would add to your own ability to inspire them up to a state. So I want all of us to understand it's a joint venture. All of us, it's a joint venture. I mean, there were moments in some roles that you almost say to yourself, you know what? I should just get out of here. But then you remember, you weren't there for yourself. You're there because there's a bigger responsibility. You represent a caucus that is bigger than you. And the responsibility to make it work is to make it easier for the next generation that comes after you. So you take it on and you fight through. And you would dare to dare every situation. And you know what? Women dare to give birth to human beings. And they do it successfully. There are women who are dared to give birth to sex triplets. How do you give birth to like eight children or six children? But they dared to do that. Their mothers, I know someone who has 14 children, not in one go, but in her lifetime, 14 children. And she looks concolo like this. Women dare to start marry some kind of men. And they still stay married to them successfully. Women dare to take on the most impossible situation every day in their life. Take that same courage and boldness that has made generations of women able to survive. Take it into the marketplace. Change the economy of nations, take it into the political space, change the governance of nations, take it into your community, change the life of your neighbor 
and the person less done. Do it with love and with kindness and we'll have a different world. Thank you.